She's gone. Rachel. She left. Already? What did the tribunal decide? The tribunal didn't have to decide at all. Rachel announced that she was leaving the Foundation. She... she what? She left us. Left you. And to think I believed she was blessed by the Purifier. How could I have been so wrong? What happens to her now? I don't know. But she's made her choices. And none of them included you. Faith is gone now, Rachel. I feel like I'm losing hope of ever seeing my daughter again. That's the withering. That drives us apart. Makes us feel isolated. Even when we're not. I don't see how we're going to end it. Nothing we've done has worked so far. Then we need a new approach. Our strongest weapons are our connections to each other. Emotional. Spiritual. Physical. Don't you agree? I guess so. We must be willing to give ourselves in every way for the collective strength of the group. Do you know of the merging ceremony? No. I haven't heard of it. It is a ceremony where two souls merge in order to strengthen both parties. Because two souls are joined are stronger than one alone. And how do they merge? They drop all vanity, all ego, all fear, and become one, physically. So, they sleep together? In layman's terms, yes. By feeding our bodies, we strengthen our souls. I want you to merge with Krista. You two have an obvious bond. We need to make that bond as strong as possible to keep the withering at bay. Don't let your loss of Rachel keep you from doing what you need to do. Let's say I agree to do this. What if Krista doesn't? I think you should talk to her. Have you already asked her? I have. And? What did she say? Xavier! Stop! Krista, it's alright. Oh god, Eric, it... It was awful. Hey, it's okay. You're safe now. You're... You're with me. The withering. It's getting worse. What did you see? I saw monsters. You saw what? The thing that... That took me. And something else. Something far worse. Maybe... Maybe there's a way we can make things better. You talked to Xavier? We had a weird conversation. He, uh... Asked me to... To merge with me. It's been a part of our belief system for ages. Two souls merging are stronger together. Do you think it will keep the withering from getting worse? I don't see how it could hurt. And Xavier, he feels strongly about it. I... I guess so. I don't want you to guess, Eric. I don't want you to do it because Xavier asked you to, or because you think it will help me or anyone else. I only want this if you want it. If you want me. Krista? I... You don't have to decide now. Just think about it. Eric, are you alright? Yeah, I think so. I was worried. I hadn't seen you since last night. I told Xavier you couldn't go through with it. Needless to say, he wasn't happy. I respect your decision. Really, I do. But if the shoe was on the other foot, are you certain Rachel would do the same for you? What do you mean? Pleasure is one of the purest forms of salvation. It's a direct channel to the purifier. Don't you want to know what it's like? To become one with the entire community? It's not all knives and needles, Eric. You have a big heart. Big enough to love everyone here. Does Rachel know about this? She knows more than she's told you. What's that supposed to mean? Talk to Xavier about it.
spoke with Krista. I'm beyond disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Xavier. It just didn't seem right. Right? Look around you, Eric. We can't be bogged down by our previous definitions of right and wrong. This is about survival. I thought you understood what was at stake. I, I do. Fortunately for you, I'm giving you another chance. I want you to join our next merging ceremony. Your next merging ceremony? Creating love through physical intimacy is something Radcliffe believes strengthens our defenses against the withering. But it's not enough love to protect us all. Then why are you asking me to... To truly become part of this community. Really protected. You must share yourself with the entire Foundation. What do you mean? Even before the withering started in Hope's Junction, High-level members of the Foundation harnessed every defense against the Blight, including physical intimacy. Why am I just hearing about this? It's kept hidden from newer members. Has Rachel... Did she...? I know it may seem bizarre to think about, but it's a practice that goes back hundreds of years. Through the merging ceremony, we see the spiritual benefit of communal intimacy. And so will you. Because I want you to be the center of the ceremony. The Seder. Seder? Fully submitting yourself to the ceremony offers clarity and enlightenment. I've never seen the world better than after serving as the Seder. It might bring you the insight you need to find your daughter. I don't know. All I want to do is make you a part of this community. Give you a sense of belonging. But all you do is rebuke me. Eric. Do you really want to be a member of the Foundation? Of course I do. Then I will see you at the ceremony. Purifier, cleanse me. My words are woe, my deeds are wrought. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't, I just finished. Xavier told me about the merging ceremony. I heard he invited you to be satyr. Who usually goes to those? Just about all of the high-level Foundation members. <sighs> I've never done anything like this before. It's a big deal Xavier offered the satyr to you. That's the part he usually likes to play. Xavier said that bringing the community together through the merging ceremony can be our strongest defense against Blight. I don't know if I'm ready to participate in something like this. You don't have to participate if you don't want. You can just watch. Watch? has come for us to merge our souls so that we might shield ourselves against the withering's blight. To best magnify the power of our merging, there must be a point of convergence, a nexus for the energy we created, and that is the Seder. I offer myself as the Seder. Then come. Join me at the altar and feel the warmth of our love.
Now we must take our satyr out to meet the night sky. out of time. We have to get faith. We have to ascend. I know. Rachel. She has a plan. What did she say? Maybe what she thinks I wanted to hear. I'm not sure. Sounds like Rachel. I don't know if I can. Last time it was an accident. And even so, I still feel like a monster. I've seen monsters, Eric. You're not one of them. But I also don't see another way to save faith. Maybe Rachel's right. Eric, when the time comes, I'm not sure Rachel will be able to ascend. Not after everything she's done. You want me to leave her behind? I want you to survive. I'm not sure I even know what that means anymore. It means you and Faith are safe. You still love her, don't you? I can't do this right now. You'll always choose her, won't you? Won't you? No matter what she does to you, to Faith, to me. Eric, tell me, do you love me or Rachel? I love Faith. And Rachel will always be a part of my life because she'll always be a part of Faith's. I should have known better. I never made you any promises. No, you didn't. Eric was, uh, just filling me in on the plan. We should go. Uh, yeah. Look, Rachel. If something happens, and we don't make it... Promise me, that if something happens to me, you'll take care of Faith. We need to get moving. Yeah. Xavier asked of us. Krista, I'm still married. I know you feel guilty about what she did to herself, but that was her choice. Eric, Rachel's not here, but I am. I'm sorry, Krista, but I can't go through with this. That's okay. It is? I told you I didn't want you unless you wanted me. And well, you don't want me, so that's that. Thanks for being so understanding. I do understand, but Xavier, he won't. He really thought us being together could help stop things from getting worse. Can you tell him that we were together? You want me to lie to him? What would it hurt? Let him think we slept together if it makes him feel better. Okay, but if he finds out... I promise, he won't. has come for us to merge our souls so that we might shield ourselves against the withering's blight. To best magnify the power of our merging, there must be a point of convergence, 
a nexus for the energy we created. And that is the Seder. Please, don't. I don't want you to do this. I don't understand what you want, Eric. You didn't want to be with me before, and now you're trying to stop me? Make up your mind. This isn't right. Is there a problem? Eric doesn't want me to participate in the ceremony. Eric Hernandez, you have shown again and again that you are not prepared to walk the path of the Foundation. Get him out of here. Krista? I keep seeing it, and every time I do, I'm more convinced. We have to do this. Krista, I think... I think I want to give whatever's going on between us a try. Are you sure? I am. Krista? Damn. Eric, tell me, do you love me or Rachel? I still love Rachel. I belong with her. I'm sorry. I should have known. Eric was, uh, just filling me in on the plan. We should go. Uh, yeah. Look, Rachel. If something happens and we don't make it, I just want you to know that, despite everything, I love you and want us to be together. We need to get moving. Yeah. You came. I wanted to talk. About what? About what Xavier asked of us. Krista, I'm still married. I know you feel guilty about what she did to herself, but that was her choice. Eric, Rachel's not here, but I am. What are you smiling about? I don't know. I just feel... happy. Me too. Do you think that's the point? To make enough happiness to fight back the- Shh. Enough talk about that. <laughs> 